Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of the 2022 Road Trek Chase. So let's get started. There's a light, LED light right above the passenger door. Power step for the passenger. This is a sliding door here and there's also a power step down below. Above is the big power awning. There's a nice opening window located right here in the sliding door. Down here, there's the LP fill area and the propane area for an outdoor grill connection. Another LED light on top. Right below it is another opening window. Let's move to the rear. Up above is a backup camera. There's some backup sensors back here. 5,000 pound tow hitch, although rated for 3,500 pounds. Seven pin connection and a four pin connection right beside it. On the passenger side, there's the city water inlet and it's also the potable water inlet. Back here on the driver's side is the 30 amp connection. Let's open up the back doors. There's some garage space slash storage right here that you can access from opening these back doors and it's a good amount of space. It's pretty deep and pretty wide. There's also one on the driver's side. This one is not as big, but it can hold some nice tools. On the driver's side, the door stores the pedestal tabletop and there's a nice netting area on the passenger side for some more storage. Let's move over to the driver's side. Another opening window. Outdoor shower that is lockable. tankless water heater and below that is the sewer connection area moving over to the driver's door power step for the driver gas input and located right in the driver's door area there's a button for the waste discharge pump so you do have to open the driver's door to access that all right let's take a peek at the front nice lights on top Okay, now it's time to check out the inside. Nice handlebar right here. And this is what it looks like inside. So let's start with the cockpit area. The seat feels nice, soft, and comfortable. I do feel like I have a little bit of lumbar support in the back. So there are folding mirrors and heated mirrors. I'm seeing lots of drink holders. There's three down below here in the center, and there's one in each door. 
There's also one here on the dash area. And below that drink holder, there's a USB port and a 12 volt. Up on the dash here, there's a clipboard to secure some papers, a touchscreen entertainment system, rear backup camera, there's a nice ledge up here where you can store some items. There's these nice push lights that you can adjust. Alright, overall I feel pretty comfortable up here. There's um, some storage over here. There's a glove box on top. Nice ledge to set like your cell phone. And another glove box below. And of course, the armrest. Right above my head here in the driver's seat is the power control center. All right, overall, not too bad. Let's check out the rest of the RV. In between these two front seats, there's a mount for a pedestal table. And these seats do swivel around, so you can enjoy the use of that table when you put it in. Above the two seats, there's this big storage area. Let's check it out. It's pretty deep. I am not able to touch the end. It does curve down though, but it is pretty wide also. Behind the passenger seat, there's the fire extinguisher. Right above the sliding door is the main control center, where you can control your climate, your lights, and various other items, such as your pumps, your battery, and the awning. On the slider door, there's this roll-up netting. There's even a roll-up privacy shade. Nice big window, and it does open. All right, so let's check out the bathroom now. It's located right across from the sliding door, and there are these two large mirrors right on the doors. Some nice handles can also double as towel holders. Let's check out inside. And take a look inside. So I'm gonna step inside to give you an idea of what it looks like when someone's in it. And it's not all that big, but I do have a good amount of arm room. Okay. So the toilet does not swivel. There is this shelving area to put your products. Soap dispenser. Shower head. It doesn't seem to have an on-off switch sink right here. It's a good size for a little RV. There is a big mirror in here. It's almost letting me see full length. And here's the shower curtain that wraps across. On the door, there's a towel bar. Now I'm also seeing that this is the toilet paper holder on this door here. There's a hook, which helps keep the door in its extended position and you just put that on in. Pretty much has everything you'll need and I'm, I'm feeling okay in here. Now I'm noticing there's no air vent in here but the kitchen air vent is located right outside of it so you can use that when needed.
let's move on to the kitchen area. So this is the kitchen area. Let's start with the counter space. There's a covered sink. It's not too deep, but it is wide. The faucet is nice and angled, and it does have this spray, pull-out spray hose. Induction cooktop, one burner on the side here. So I'm not noticing too much counter space, but there is this nice little countertop extender that makes for a good amount of counter space. On the side here is a 110 outlet, a USB, and a 12 volt. Up above the induction cooktop is the microwave. Standard size for a E-Class RV and it's not convection. Moving below, this is below the sink, there's a good amount of storage. Top shelf is not very deep. The second one is pretty deep and it is tall. And the last one on the bottom here is deep and tall. You can get a lot of pots and pans in there. On the side of that are two 110 outlets. Now under the induction cooktop, there's this drawer. It's a good size drawer. Below that drawer, there's another cabinet with shelves, more storage. Let's check it out. It goes back pretty far. And three shelves. Lots of storage right here in this little area. Loving it. So across is the freezer. And look at that. This is a big freezer for this size of a vehicle. That is a lot of room in there. Let's check out the fridge. It's a pretty big fridge too. We've got one, two, three shelving areas and two pull-out bins. In the door, you've got these two adjustable shelves and the bottom shelf allows for tall bottle storage and you've got these little levers that you can use to organize and keep certain items in place. Loving the size. On the side is a pull-out pantry. Lots of room here. This top part you can really get some nice tall items in there. And you have one, two, three, four shelving areas lots of storage there. Now below this refrigerator is this enormous uh, drawer. <laughs> wow, check this out. This is big. And I'm loving these latches slash handles. Really makes you feel good that everything's nice and secured. So down below, it's not storage. This has the water lines and your water heater controller. Right beside the kitchen area is a big wardrobe. It's also housing the stand for the pedestal table. And there's even this closet rod and it is removable. Loving the size. On the side of the wardrobe is this little cabinet. And look how deep that is. That goes back pretty far. There's two 110 outlets, your cable, and two 12 volts. On the side of that one, I love how they just stay up on their own. This is also pretty deep. Pretty long, pretty deep pretty high. Loving all the room in there. Let's move on to the other side. This is now the driver's side. We have another cabinet here. A 
again. Look at that. I can't even really touch the end. Nice and wide. Lots of space. And here's yet another overhead cabinet. Nice and big. Lots of space. And this one has the solar charge controller in it. Okay. Let's check out the storage that's down below. So under the passenger side bench bed area, there's this large storage area. You get a lot of big items in there. Okay. On the driver's side, there's a drawer and it's deep. Look at that. And there's another one right beside it. Same size, good amount of space. So right beside the wardrobe on the passenger side is the TV, and it does swivel. I'm seeing some under cabinet lighting that are adjustable. There's two on this passenger side. Nice big window that opens, and you have your shade and there's a 12 volt located right here so also on the passenger side here there is a 12 volt a USB and a 110 outlet and another adjustable push on off light and a little speaker In the rear here, they have this pull down bug netting and privacy shade also. Moving to the driver's side, same setup it looks like. The adjustable push on off light, a 110 outlet, USB, and a 12 volt little speaker again. This side has three more adjustable push on off lights and over here yet again another 110 outlet USB port and 12 volt all right so also on the driver's side here there are two more windows so this one here opens up Bug screen and shape. Let's check out this one. This one, I'm not seeing a way to open it. This one does not open up. It still has the shape. Of it. So now let's check out this back bed area. So this rear bed slash living area is actually quite roomy and comfortable lots of space each side now these are also each a twin bed so I'm going to show you each end can be adjusted up and look at that it is comfortable I love it, it is really comfy this side has two more seat belts so this side can carry passengers with you when you're on the road. I love that there's these two cup holders right here. And now I'm gonna see how it changes into a king size bed. So this is what it looks like when it's been made into the king size bed. Let's check it out. It's pretty roomy. Lots of space and it's a very comfortable. Nice and flush. I love it. Now it was a bit of a process to get this made into a king size bed. So I'm going to show you how it comes apart. 
this cushion up front here is the cushion that has the cup holders in them and that goes back off to the side this big cushion here is the cushion that goes off to the driver's side also where the seat belts are located and then there's these three boards that you slide out there's the first one there's the second and the third now there's a storage area for these boards located under this bench area on the passenger side but to access it you have to open up the rear doors of course you can store these anywhere you want probably even right under this bench area here in between these two rear bench seats is the mount for the pedestal table so there's another one back here and the storage for the actual tabletop is in the rear door here on the driver's side I want to mention that I love this AC unit. It's nice and low profile. I've got lots of headspace still. So that pretty much wraps it up for the tour of this Road Trek Chase. I love that it just feels like there's so much room in here. I don't feel confined at all. Not to mention all the big windows all around. It just makes everything feel so open. Of course, the storage, there was tons and tons of storage in here. And last but not least, Loved the amount of space in the freezer and the refrigerator. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please subscribe to my channel and join me for some more videos. Bye for now.